What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're at Upper Canada Village Golf Course in Upper Canada Village, uh, which is right next to the Fleuve saint laurent in uh, Iro close to Iroquois. Great course, uh, by the way, thanks for having me out here, Upper Canada, I really appreciate it. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't fly my drone today because it is government ran here. They were nice enough to put me on today and uh, we're gonna try to play a good round for you guys. I played here when I was a junior, approximately 20 years ago I shot 82 and I want to see how I measure up. Playing the tips today, I did play the white tees back then. But it is very windy, as you guys can probably tell right now, and if it's gusting it's going to be tough. But the course is in mid condition and I tend to play better when I have to like this. And this really sets up for me so I'm excited. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Smash that subscribe button, like, comment, all that stuff. Let's go. Before we get back to the golf, I want to share a little something with y'all. Check it out. RV rental is simple, safe, and secure with Outdoorsy. Whether you're a seasoned road warrior looking for a Class A or just starting out behind the wheel of a Class B or Class C, they have an RV for you. Not ready to drive a rig? You can always tow a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, or even a folding trailer. And if you don't feel like driving, you can always have an RV delivered to your destination. It's your adventure. Let the road lead the way. Since I started golfing, I've always dreamt about being on the road traveling from course to course, so I looked into RVs and quickly stumbled upon Outdoorsy, which is amazing. It's easy to use and we were on the road in no time. Outdoorsy is available in Canada, United States, Europe, New Zealand, and Australia. Thanks to Outdoorsy, the road was ours. We could go wherever we wanted to. I could also work on my game, my grip, my takeaway, my putting, concentration, balance, and of course, a quick relaxation session before and after my round. If you want to take your adventure outside, it's simple. Click the link below in the description and use the promo code Threes and Force Golf for a fifty dollar discount on your first trip with Outdoors. That's right, folks, fifty smackaroos. Now, back to the golf. Not that kind of golf. I meant, you know, the one with the the thing with the. You know what I mean. Back to the golf. Alright guys, so I had a pretty good drive down here. Uh, the first hole was 386 yard par 4. I got about, I'd say 130, 140. And uh, I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. I'm going to try to land it in the front of the green because I'm pretty sure I won't get a lot of spin because my ball's in the rough. But I don't know the greens yet. I'm not used to them anymore. I'm not used to punting on nice greens like that either. But uh, we have a part five here. Maybe we can get one back. It is into the wind, but it's 500 yards. Maybe I could try to cut the corner a bit on the left. Hit a low drop. Hitting this ball in the wind, I'm pretty happy with the distance I got off it. It looks like I have about 320. I bogey the first hole, so I want to get one back. Yards, 
going to hit a little pitch here. There is a little ridge. I want to get it up there. Spin. I like it though, it landed at the pin and it back spun right. We have a birdie part, let's go. I think I landed, watch this guy. of the bunker and it kicked right but that was good that was good got to get up and down from the bunker right here because I'm front so I want to leave it short okay, that's what you love to see Let's get up and down for par Down from the bunker. Let's go. We're making this play on the tips. Literally the tips. So yeah. I have to hit a good drive here, guys. I'm aiming for that bunker. Either a draw or a fade off the of battle behind. provisional because I don't know where that ended up but I went left off the tee too bad because I hit that good just in case I don't find my first ball a bit but it's gonna work out. We got a pretty good look at par. Considering it's a 460 yard par four, I hit trees twice and I got this far. I can't complain right now. One over after three, let's keep it that way. I didn't hit it high enough. I knew it, I knew it missed it right off the bat. So I'm gonna keep the camera in the cart. Like I said, it's raining. So I have a hump over my butt here. I'd be glad with two bucks. Oh, 
up here. I got 150 wind in my back. I'm going to hit a small minor. Right. Yeah, we're just short of the green. I'll take it. This is pretty wide open. What you see is what you get. so I'm not taking the camera out in the green. 